Um, this is less funny. Uh, this is that Dragon Age game. Apparently, the original Dragon Age game was like really popular. Um, I've never played any of them. I'm I'm just aware that they're like Coomer games. They're like games that have like really like explicit sex scenes. Um, where you can like fuck dinosaurs or some shit. So they made another one, and this time, um, they decided to add a full comprehensive character creation screen where you have any kind of body type that you want. You can select your pronouns, including gender neutral pronouns. And your gender, which includes non-binary. Um, this isn't even the full of it. Um, they have the usual slew of disabilities that they plug in for DEI purposes, including um, the Michael Jackson disease, which for some reason white people are fucking obsessed with. The alopecia or whatever the fuck. Because it's like... It's like a black people disease, but it directly affects skin color. Cause, and then it's like, oh my god, if you just gave black people alopecia, they would be white. And it's like, no, they would still be black, but whatever. What's this? Birthmarks. <laughs> oh no, we're Redditor. <laughs> uh, they also added, uh, I wonder if I can find this in the third real quick. They added double mastectomy scars. So if you want to be a little pooner dude in Dragon Age and get fucked in the ass, uh, you literally can do that. You can be represented in this game. Um, is this it? But he, him, she, her, and they, them, and then your gender is man, woman, non-binary. Love that. Love the inclusivity. <laughs> Top surgery scars are also included in this for all of our trans and non-binary rooks out there. I absolutely was blown away by this. Um, it's 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 beautiful to see the inclusion in the game and to see yourself represented. Dude, in 2040, when people pl like pull out these old games to play them, they're gonna be so confused. Like, what the fuck was wrong with people during like the 2010s and 2020s? These people are fucking. What the fuck is a top surgery scar? What the fuck is wrong with them? <laughs> what did he call people or she? Out there, I a non-binary rooks out, a non-binary rooks out, a non-binary rooks out there. I thought he was, she was going to say folks, but, um, what's a rooks? Is this like a Gaelic expression for folks? Rooks? Is that how you say folks if you're from Scotland? You say rooks? Like the chess piece? Non-binary rooks. Burn? Rooks? Rooks. Rocks. Interesting. Oh, it's a character's name. Okay, I got you. Look, look at this little pooner dude that she made. Look at the evil that she has conjured into reality. You were given the crafting clay to make anything that you wanted. You can make, like, a really cool dinosaur dude with, like, magic. Or you can make, like, a dark elf bow, like, assassin. And you're like, I want to make a scrawny Asian pooner. Somebody that I could overpower, even as a fat, retarded woman. And it's like, why would you, why would you create evil? You were given the, the opportunity to do good, and you created evil. It's really disgusting. Now, um, sorry, I hate to look up things on, uh, on the fly, but there was, what was this? Matt Gates is trending. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's see, Dragon Age Lead Dev. That's not right. Mm -mm. Let's say, uh, Tranny. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is who I was looking for. From the Bioware blog, Corin Bush. Our latest edition of Developer Stories shows how a career path can take you to the pl different places you st but still lead you right where you belong. Today, the spotlight is on game director Corin Bush, who's helping the guide the next Dragon Age. Who's helping guide... This is really poorly written. 
Uh, it's the latest stop in a more than 15-year journey that started with golf. Oh, boy, a professional golfer leading Dragon Age. Can I be a golfer in Dragon Age? Fresh out of college with a degree in digital animation, Corin wasn't aiming for a career in games. I expected I'd probably work in film, she says. But while looking at career prospects, I was fortunate enough to land a contract gig doing environment art in the Tiger Woods franchise. I knew nothing, literally nothing, about golf. But I'll tell you, from my first taste of being a part of the game team, I knew I'd never do anything else. I fell absolutely in love with game design. Following her time on the links, Lauren moved over to the Maxis' Sims franchise. All oh, the Sims franchises that just released a bunch of tranny shit like top surgery scars while taking out essential things that have been in the game since the Sim 1s, like pools. That Sims franchise, that was a resounding success for Maxis. As a systems designer, oh, not just art anymore, systems. She remained at the Maxis for almost a decade. Oh, so three and four, huh? The ones that suck the most. Three, of course, being one of the most unoptimized games ever released, ever. But when the opportunity to move over to Bioware arose, she jumped at the chance. It had always been one of those dream destinations for me, she says. I just adore JRPGs that prioritize choice and offer the kinds of relationships that tug at your heartstrings. You know, the way that Miss Corrin said that Bioware was a dream job for her really reminds me of this meme. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A Bioware fan has fun. Look at that Bioware fan, just happy as a pig. We can only aspire to be as happy as this Bioware fan. Andraste. Why is there a person talking over this footage? I just want to see the Bioware fan have fun. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Now she's helping guide one of those RPGs herself, though she's careful not to overstate the directorial role. Game directors are sometimes thought of as big personalities who are singularly responsible for the purity of their creative vision, Corin says. But for me, it's really about being a steward for the vision that we as a team have collectively defined. I get a high level view of everything that's coming together and can steer the project as it does. But ultimately, it's about empowering people to work together, play with ideas, offer critiques, and make decisions. All to help a cohesive experience for players. I'll just read this part. The Dragon Age franchise has a very special place in Corrin's heart. In part, she says, because she says that's because the games are all about possibility. In Dragon Age, you can be who you want to be. In a, in a world of infinite opportunity, if I get to redesign myself, a little Asian twink pooner, I think, is the, is the exact representation I would want. Explore the possibilities and consequences of your choices and build relationships that leave a lasting impression. Few games give players that kind of autonomy while also weaving such rich narratives. I think it really speaks to why our players feel so invested in this world. Oh, here we go. And the idea of being who you want to be carries a particularly special meaning for Corin. As a queer, trans woman, she says, I have a perspective on games that not everyone has. Dragon Age has long been a place where LGBTQIP plus folks can see themselves like themselves represented respectfully. It's inherently very queer, and it's such a rare thing for marginalized communities to have representation where we feel proud and powerful in how we are depicted. Proud. Powerful. The little pooner that could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can get both my tits chopped off because I was molested as a kid. I so proud. What a proud rook. Um, and how are depicted? It's so deeply meaningful for so many. I often get emotional when I think about what it would mean to have a younger version of myself see someone like her in a game as a hero, no less. I hope we can be a safe place for our queer players to know they 
are not alone, that they are brilliant and worthy, that they are not only welcome, but celebrated. Mm. They give you, they, they hate you. They hate you so fucking much. Crazy. We're gonna, we're, we are gonna never live this down. And they're gonna blame us. They're gonna say, you fucking millennials didn't do enough to stop this. I tried, man. I tried. I gave up everything to warn people of the danger of the pooner. The little Asian pooner. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.